Absolutely. Um, so how did you vote on the seminary road project? I voted for the, for the road diet. Okay. So given, uh, what has kind of transpired since then and what we know and maybe even what we don't know. Uh, the question is really, would you, would you just simply leave it as it is? Would you reverse it or would you be in favor of some kind of modification? I'd be in favor of leaving it the way it is. Um, I don't know if you've been up there uh, at all during the pandemic, but I feel that folks have really rediscovered that stretch of road. Um, and granted, you know, we can have predicted the pandemic and of course during the pandemic more people are home So they're us utilizing that stretch of road more uh, But if you were to go and sit out there for 30 minutes, you'd see people on bikes people walking their dogs jogging uh, People like I said, they they're really enjoying the stretch of road, which you wouldn't see beforehand uh, So I think you know, we've made a lot of improvements so that all road users are protected because one of the biggest issues was speeding on the road and now if you go on the road and the police have actually mentioned this uh, with some officers that I've spoken with, you know, the, the speed of which cars are traveling on that stretch of road has changed dramatically. Um, we've improved, of course, crosswalks um, and, you know, we, we still have to see and we'll have to study this once we go post pandemic in terms of traffic and how it's affecting everything. Uh, but are people still able to get to their destination? Yes. Um, you know, right at the tail end of when it was the complete road diet was completed uh, before the pandemic hit, were there wait times that were increased slightly? Yeah, I, I would totally, totally acknowledge that. But you're talking about two hours in the morning, maybe, and two hours in the afternoon, early evening. Um, but outside of that, the road is running great, um, you know, 22 or excuse me, 20 hours out of the day and during the weekends. Okay. I, I don't know that everybody agrees with you, but then that's what people do. Do you think the process was as, could have been better? Absolutely. <laughs> the process absolutely could have been better. Um, you know, it is very frustrating uh, that we've seen such a level of you know, I'm, I'm just going to say a downright kind of animosity. Mm -hmm. um, and really, ideally, it's I, I hope we can get back to a civic discourse where even if we disagree on something, we can agree to disagree and not um, get into extremes about how we're dealing with situations. Um, so that's really what I'm hoping for. And, you know, again, Virginia, it was it was an 18 month process, right? Uh, some folks said that, oh, I just found out. I'm like, that's not true. Everybody's been involved in this process for almost 18 months. Uh, there was a lot of outreach. There's a lot of community meetings. Um, and I understand that people always wanted to say there was 13 civic associations that came out against it. But we have to remember, right, the civic associations don't represent everyone that lives in Alexandria. Um, they don't include renters in their, in their civic associations. And they have boundaries in certain locations. And we, as a council, were getting you know, input from all of our residents, folks that were for it and folks that were against it. And I, I just want to squash again, there was this this big idea that there was this outside influence that was just absolutely not true. And our emails were FOIA'd and anybody can go and look at that and I'm happy to share it as well, but I got maybe five emails from folks from outside the city. Everything else was coming from residents, including residents that lived on Seminary Road or right off of Seminary Road. And if you drive down Seminary Road on that stretch that we're talking about, you might just happen to see a Canic yard sign. <laughs> well, I 